Welcome to Brennan's Bargains. Alright, this video is going to help you with visuals and preparing for a remodel. But I'm going to briefly go what a remodel is. A remodel is a Dollar General that changes their layout on the store. And there's different sizes of remodels. There's large to small. Um, but this one's going to be focused on the large ones because that's most of the time what people want to hit. So to prepare for a large remodel, you need to have a list of items to go for. So you need to look for the party aisle, the laundry aisle, the laundry baskets. You can look for the dollar, uh, the dollar aisle food. There's, um, there's also um, the kitchen section where sometimes totes go um, in the kitchen section and some kitchen products. Um, there's food in the food aisle, the regular food aisle. Uh, it varies from remodel to remodel. They're not the same. And there's also some clothes. So definitely make sure you check out the clothes area because it does have underwear, socks, and the mossy shirts and stuff like that so definitely still look at clothes so once you find a remodel you'll be looking for the tags in the store that'll be hanging 50 percent off now normally when you see these orange tags are 10 percent off but you want to look for the one that actually says 50. when it says 50 that's a remodel so you'll be also looking for a storage container a storage container will help you know confirm that that's a remodel that means it's going to happen within a couple weeks so how do you look for a remodel let's go over it briefly what you do is you look on a saturday night or a early sunday morning and i usually just do it at saturday midnight um, and you find the store that you um either seen in your area that was marked 50 percent off on that Sunday, uh, it should zero out. If it zeroes out on four to five products that you pick, it's a remodel. And make also a further reminder that the frozen food stays 50% off. It does not penny out. Make sure you hit it in the morning. So let's go over the steps on what to do on a remodel. On a remodel, what you need to do. So first of all, you need to do a recon of the store if you can on a Saturday just to scope it out. If it's too far away, just check a couple items on your phone to see if they're available and that will help you out on the remodel. Now, what you need to do is make sure you bring garbage bags. You can bring your own bags um, or your own totes or, you know, whatever you would like to help you um, load up because carts are not guaranteed and as you saw in my last remodel there was only three carts and I had no cart when I came in and I was not prepared for that so make sure that you bring even garbage bags with you that will help you you know load it up so people don't take off your pile because people will do that when you're not looking especially if you walk away from your items if you can bring a friend because that will help you out um, and Make sure your uh, phone is fully charged so you can scan away. If you have an extra charger, it would be better because that way your battery won't run dead and you can keep scanning. Make sure you prepare to leave three to four hours for a remodel because it does take time to get the items. And you want to stay there as long as possible to get as many pennies as you can. Of course, everything on a remodel is going to be a penny when they ring up on the zero, zero, zero. So not everything goes on a remodel, not the whole store, it's just certain items. So you have to try to um, definitely scan away because there's some things that are marked and you definitely wanna go for all the marked stuff first. Anything that says 50% off, go for it first. But there are some hidden gems in a remodel and that's why I, I'm making this video it has tons of frozen food right now um, but we will get into other items like the totes like the dollar food so there's tons of visuals in this this one and I do have some UPCs right now I made this video mostly for visuals um, I can always go back and give you more UPCs and do another video so if you like this kind of content and it helps you on a remodel 
this is going to be the video for you. Also, I put some um, UPCs in there so that way if you want to, you can watch this on your computer and you can just scan it right on your phone um, when we do get to the UPCs here shortly um, to help you out. And I do have it in a little bit in every section. This also will help you find a remodel, which I will do a little short video on that soon. I apologize. I've been very busy still at work. And I'm going to work again today. So I cannot constantly make videos like I wish I could. So anywho, we are here and they also have the ice cream section going. Now this is what's currently going on a remodel. If you're watching this a year later, this is, might be not current information. This might be old information. You might only find four things that are going on this whole remodel that might be still going on a remodel, but the rest of it might not be going. So it remodels do change. So just keep that in mind. They constantly change. Um, they usually stay the same for that year, but uh, they do change from store to store. And not and like I said, there's small remodels to big remodels. So they are different in each area. So keep that in mind. Some things, um, one remodel, you might have a certain laundry soap that goes and the next remodel, that one won't go, but the other laundry soap will go. So you have to keep that in mind on remodels. Not it just make sure you always have a fully charged battery and you can scan away because it does a vary a little bit from store to store. And that's why you want to have the extra time. So go for all your goodies first and then and then try to go back and try to just scan away on the extras. I also have as seen on TV in here. So definitely just go for the things that you want to get. Um, another thing to keep in mind is there's pros and cons to a remodel. The pros are you, you can score a lot of pennies. The bad thing is there's can be a lot of people at a remodel. Um, sometimes there's just one or two and sometimes there's like 12 to 15 and then you're limited to a section of the store and you might not score it. Pennies are never guaranteed even on Penny Tuesday. So it's the same thing with a remodel. You might hit one and just be like, wow, I really scored. And the next remodel you might score just not as much. So it's never guaranteed on remodels. Just to keep that in mind. But luckily usually you can find definitely at least some pennies you might not find a a lot but you will find some so always remodels are always good to go to just because you can score so much and it it's just so fun and so exciting and it gets your adrenaline running because you will find stuff and you'll be like yes <laughs> you know what i mean so it's exciting so it's definitely worth going to um, and scoping out. If you, Especially if you have it in your area. Don't be afraid. Just go in your store every other day. I mean, just keep scoping it out. Um, you don't have to purchase everything. Purchase the things that you think you might really, really want. Just to make sure you score some. Um, just because you know your area. You know your manager, especially in your area. You know if they're going to pull a lot or if they're not. And... If you're asking about a remodel and you want to talk to the manager about it, just ask them, hey, how long is the sale going on for? And if they are honest, they might tell you everything. And then they might like, hey, we're going to be coming on a remodel. Our store is going to be closed within two weeks. Da, da, da. And they might say a lot. So, and then some of them will say nothing. So it's really better to be honest, not to say anything anything if you can because when you keep talking to them and you put them on high alert when you don't talk to them they kind of forget about it because it's just another thing they have to deal with oh they know it's coming up but they they kind of forget about it because it's still there and so week after week so it's better if you can not talk about it but most of the managers We'll get people that will talk about it constantly and then they realize I got to start pulling these things because you're talking about it too much. So just keep that in mind. It's, just, it's better not to talk about it. Just It's just better to walk in the store and just scope it out. That's really the best thing to do. 
And if you want to get a couple laundry things at 50% off, get a couple of laundry things at 50% off. Make sure you at least add some coupons to it so that way you're getting some good deals. So, hey, laundry soap at 3 or $4 is the score to me. So, and that's usually the number one thing that goes. But there are always sometimes even hidden gems that are hidden from the managers and they don't even know what's going. So, keep that in mind. So definitely scope out your store if you can. If you can't, if you're going for a distance one, then you just check it out online. So here are some items that are going um, on the plastics. And I'm very excited about this. I do have um, the UPCs coming up here soon. And like I said, you can scan it and check it out. Now I did this really super fast because it's just so much to cover. And I was just trying to give you all as many visuals as I can um, to help you out on a remodel and then you can always go back pause it you can even play this in slow motion if you want to and you just go to the little setting bar that looks like a little toolbar and you can change the quality on that of the video which mine should be 720 if you want to that might help you could see better if you want to ever do that on my future videos because my videos are always at 720. So if you want to and it looks. Because YouTube is set at 360. So sometimes it can be blurry. But if you change the setting. You can see things more clearly. So just keep that in mind. But also you can change the speed. And slow it down. So that way you can take a screenshot better. Or whatever. And you just turn down the volume. So that way you don't hear me rambling on. <laughs> so. <laughs> but these are cool items that are going to remodel i definitely just wanted to go over what is in a remodel um and i will do a short video on just how to find a remodel um here shortly i was going to add it to this video but i wanted to keep this video of mostly um items to look for because that's usually most people that have been to remodels before they just want visuals and so that's really the number th number one thing they want in a remodel. They just want more visuals to help them score in the next remodel. So, um, because remodels are a little difficult to find. Um, that's why people are charging for it. And just a disclaimer, since I should have disclaimed this from the very beginning, I didn't. Uh, I am not a pro at remodels. There are several ladies that are pro at remodels. Please follow them. Even join their group. If you have to join their membership. It's probably worth it. Because they probably have several videos. To help you score. They probably have several videos. To help you break it down. And help you out. These ladies have been doing it way more than me. They've hit way more remodels than me. And they are very 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 good at it. And I would say definitely. I'll name two. Right off the tip of my head, which is Easy P um, Penny Shopping. She changed her name. Easy Penny Shopping and the Country Couponer. Um, she's uh, the one that says, hi, honey. <laughs> That's what she's known for. Hi, honey. Um, her. She is, both of those ladies are excellent at remodels. Definitely wa worth watching their videos. You probably already watch them anyways, but... Those are the two ladies I re would recommend on a remodel and how to um, get better at it. If that's what you need to do and you're new at this, those are the two ladies I would recommend right off the bat because um, they're just completely awesome. They're very, both of them are very nice and they're they're just there to help. They, they all they want to do, that's why they created their YouTube. They just want to help others score like they did. Because this helped them. And so I'm doing a video. Because people are requesting for a remodel video. And I just recently went to one. I didn't do as great as some of these ladies do. But I want to help you out. Because even I wish I did a little better. And I wish I did a little research. Just to help me do a little better. And that's why I'm making this video for y'all. I really want to help you out and I hope I am helping you out. So we have lots of signage, which I forgot to mention in the beginning. I have signage in here 
And like I said, none of this is guaranteed on a remodel. When I went to my remodel, half the signage was already pulled. So I was a little sad, but I did find some signage and it was still there. I mean, it was down to like a third of signage. So they did pull a lot of it and I'm pretty sure they had a lot. Um, but that's how it goes. Sometimes you are guaranteed and sometimes you just score really big and every remodel is a little different. So keep that in mind. Now we're in the food section. This is the dollar area of food. And a lot of these items go, like I said, they are not guaranteed because they had candy register food, which I do not have in this video. I think I have the nerds. That's about the only thing I got. They pulled all the candy and I forgot to take pictures of the candy that they pulled. So I'm, I apologize for that. Um, but so that's not in this video. There's no candy really in this video. But I do have the dollar aisle. That was pretty much going. Um, a lot of the dollar aisle is going. So um, I don't even remember looking at it. Probably because I saw the lady in um, front of me grab some from the dollar aisle. And I think I just skipped that aisle. I just went, oh well, I think she got it. And I, I should have double checked and looked. And I should have scanned, but I didn't. So, um, never assume that the other person got it all. That's another thing I would say on remodel. Just because even penny shopping, I saw the ladies that are really great at penny shopping and they left pennies behind. So never assume that all the pennies are gone just because you seen someone else penny shop before you. Um, because they, they miss things just like you do. I miss things and I go, oh, I forgot those items in the store and I realized I forgot them. So yeah, definitely always just take a double look. I mean, yeah, you might not find barely anything. You might only find one, but you found the one just because they left one behind. So uh, it happens because they get in a rush and they just want to hit the next one. And so in remodels, unless there's like several remodels going in that area, they might be in a hurry and try to hit the next remodel. Um, and then you could still score pennies in that one store because they're too busy trying to hit the next one. And they're just trying to get the main items that they wanted to get. So definitely just scan away in a remodel because there's a lot of items that go that you don't think are going and then some items that you think are going and they're not going too. So I think I have some randoms in this section. This is just random things that are kind of like going that I just made sure like I had a little bit of kitchenware, I had a little NCI in there. Um, just little random things um, that are going in a remodel and just things to keep your eye out for. Um, but I do have lots of UPCs and I could make another video with more UPCs. I think I just made this one more of visuals to help you make you realize what to look for. Um, I did do this video both ways where I did it where they're half off. So that way you could see that they are ringing up half off and that's what's going on a remodel. And I also did it like they're zeroed out. They pinned out. So I used two different stores when I was making this video I was using one remodel that already went and I used one remodel that hasn't gone so that way I can give you visuals saying this is half off this is what you're looking for so I'm going to probably do a part two of how to find a remodel and all that but um also if you really need to like find really experts on penny shopping remodels there's tons of them like ease easy penny shopping and the country couponer um so definitely check them out because they are like more of the pros at remodels so um i like to give them credit but definitely check it out i'm just here just to help you out with mostly with visuals and just to help you better with remodels because i'm not the pro at remodels um but i, I do want to help you as much as i can so we're on the last section of as seen on TV. Um, there, like I said, I didn't even go over all the cake aisle. 
the party aisle. Um, I kind of showed you in the first remodel video that I did of all the items that I got on that remodel. So if you didn't see that one, you can check that out. Um, because there's a lot of 3 2 one party, like that whole party aisle practically going and practically the whole cake aisle section is going, um, which is awesome. So, and I didn't even throw that in this video because there's just so many. So, uh, I just wanted to let, share with you and just give you some visuals just to help you out on a remodel and... I hope you all score. Um, there's even a remodel going this morning for me, and I'm missing it because I'm going to work. So, bummer. Um, that's just sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, plus, it's kind of far away. So, so if this video has helped you out, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I do normally do penny lists and visuals of dot markdowns. I just try to help you out to get you better prepared for Dollar General. Um, I do not do a lot of couponing. I do a little bit, but I, there's a lot of great coupon um, channels out there. Um, and it, that's just very time consuming for me. So I can't really get into that. But um, I'll recommend you to go to another couponing channel just because I do work 40 hours a week. So... I don't have time to make as many videos as I would love to make. But I hope this video has helped you out. I hope you score. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Take care. God bless. Bye.